friends, today we're going to be doing some painting with some very interesting materials. Before I tell you what they are, we're of course going to start with our mantra. So get yourself ready for emotions and our words that will make us strong for today. And we'll say it together. Here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing. I am an artist. Okay, so the materials that we're going to use today are things you can find in your house or outside, especially if you don't have a lot of paint laying around. There's some different things that we can paint with that are kind of interesting. The first one as an option is coffee grounds. So if you have somebody at home that really loves to drink coffee, instead of them throwing away their coffee grounds, have them save it so that you can try to paint with those. And I'll show you what that looks like too. The second option is actually dirt from outside, if you can believe it, kind of has the same effect as the coffee grounds and this is one that you can use without having to waste any food it's just outside your house or any type of sand or something else that you can try playing with for painting too and the last one would be any type of condiments now of course condiments like ketchup or hot sauce or things like that you'll want to ask before you just take things from the fridge but if there's extras remaining from lunch or something like that you can totally try using it as an art supply of course if you have permission so we're gonna try some painting today with some sort of weird kinds of painting tools tools that we can practice being an experimenter and an inventor when we do our painting today. So here we go. All right, friends, I know it might seem a little bit weird, but sometimes it's fun to play with different kinds of painting tools that you've never experimented with before. Remember, if you're going to do this project, always be sure and ask permission to make sure you're not taking something that you might still need to use. So this is the coffee grounds. I have hot sauce here and then I have some dirt. I can assure you it smells weird in here <laughs> but i also have a little cup of water and that's going to be perfect for me to practice making some really dark spots on my paper and some really light spots you might also want to get a paper plate that's going to have some space for you to mix for example something like this i have the dirt the um, coffee grounds and the hot sauce so i can actually practice mixing on here if i want to get it a little bit more wet and get some of my colors to kind of come out of the coffee grounds or some of my colors to come out of the dirt a little bit and you can practice from there what it's going to look like to start mixing and watering down a few little colors. So I'm going to start by sketching something on my paper first and then I'm going to go back in and decide how I'd like to add some darker values and some lighter values and mix from there to start adding to my paper. Especially something that's kind of light like the lighter coffee grounds initially or the dirt is going to be awesome for you to layer a little bit over the top because the more layers that you add obviously the darker the value will be. So this is a really awesome practice for you to experiment and see what kinds of things happen with different materials. So I'm going to sketch out a simple design first on my paper and then I'm going to show you how you can start layering these more non-traditional painting materials for your project. Alright, so I just sketched the house that's across the street from me so I can kind of see it. I like to draw from observation sometimes so I can see some of the shapes that I need to make for my project. And I'm going to go back in and use a little bit of water and start adding water to things like the coffee grounds or the dirt and just building up layers, practicing seeing what kinds of textures and consistency I can get with the different kinds of non-traditional painting materials. My super speed video got a little cut off at the end, but you get the idea. The orange is clearly the hot sauce that I added. I did a little bit of mixing for hot sauce and dirt together. Never thought I'd be painting like that, but it's kind of a fun way to experiment and get a little bit outside your comfort zone. So feel free to try this with any of the tools you have around you, but make sure you ask for permission if it's something that you're not sure if you can use. Now for our motivation at the end of class today and our meditation, we're actually just going to do a little bit of breathing by feeling like we're having our lungs coming out from our chest and then coming back in. So I want you to put that one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, and let's relax with, let's do five deep breaths today. And each time you take a dip, deep breath out, you're going to go out with your arms and then come back in and kind of give yourself a little hug in those same positions. So five deep breaths, here we go. Getting that oxygen pumping feels awesome. Remember, you are strong, you are amazing, you are resilient, and I love you. We'll see you next time.